In the north, the Second Umber Rebellion raged on. The northern houses of Karstark, Bolton and Umber united behind Arnulf Karstark, who according to them and many other northerners had a much better claim to the north than Renly loyalists House Flint. Though bold and crooked with age, the rebels selected the old man as a compromise, not willing to press the claim of either Lord Grey John Umber or Lord Rickard Karstark, since that would give one rebel family primacy over the other two. In the south, Renly was happy to let this revolt play itself out. The rebels had already confirmed that they would swear fealty to him if they won. He did take advantage of the long-awaited peace south of the Neck to arrest his brother on Dragonstone. Stannis had been brooding and plotting there for years, with rumors of resurrection, blood magic and fire sacrifice surrounding the island, and Renly had had enough. When Renly's bannermen arrived, Stannis chose to go with them willingly, encouraged by the Red Woman, Melisandre, who told him that the Lord of Light had a greater part to play for him, greater perhaps than the Iron Throne itself. Renly chose to force Stannis' abdication as Lord of Dragonstone to his daughter Shireen and banished his brother to the Wall. At the Wall, Stannis met Tyrion Lannister, the former Lord of the Westerlands. Following his defeat and banishment by Renly, the Imp was a drunken shadow of his former self and would die of alcohol poisoning only a few months after Stannis' arrival. In his years at the Watch, Tyrion had catalogued much of the Castle Black Library, together with Samuel Tarly, specializing in the old archives about the Long Night, and Stannis and the Imp would spend many hours hunched over the books together. On the Iron Islands, while Balon Greyjoy had been allowed to return to Pike, it wasn't long before he mysteriously fell off a bridge between two of his castles. Theon Greyjoy inherited the Iron Islands from his father, and since he was married to Stannis' daughter and Renly's niece, Shireen Baratheon, Baratheon's involvement in Balon's death was an open secret. Beyond the Wall, Wildling King Man's Raider was fighting a mysterious war against enemies unknown in the realms of man. Outrageous stories about the dead coming back to life were abound among the Wildlings and even in the Night's Watch, though later maesters were never able to confirm them. Stannis Baratheon and Melisandre, who had gone into exile with him voluntarily, were often seen ranging far beyond the wall, and it is said they helped bring in many shipments of dragon glass from Stannis' former seat at Dragonstone. South of the wall, the Second Umber Rebellion had resulted in the brutal mutilation and death of Lyessa Flint, and the installation of the 74-year-old Arnulf Karstark, the usurper, as Lord Paramount. Later, in the early moons of 307 after conquest, Arya Stark, who had been missing for eight years and presumed dead, arrived again in Harrenhal after a self-imposed exile in Bravos. After spending a few months at King Renly's court, she went north to marry Lord Paramount Benjen II Karstark, the grandson and successor to Arnulf. The Karstarks were by now Arya's best bet to someday regaining Winterfell and Benjen II was thrilled to legitimize his shaky claim to the north by marrying Lord Paramount Eddard's daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming, and we're gonna get right back into it, uh, because last episode, at the very end, our poor niece Shireen was captured by Lord Veltris of Sweetport Sound. This guy. Uh, where's Sweetport Sound? Okay, it's over there. Okay, I don't know why... Okay, I guess I guess uh, Shireen is fighting a war against him or something. Robert II's claim on Dragonstone. Oh, okay. And he's won. Okay, so Robert, my my son Robert is 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 is, is, is conquering Dragonstone. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope that Lord Feltwist will release her soon, because I don't want her to, to be killed. Uh, Randy the Beautiful and Celise named Herrick. Really? I have a bastard son. All right, okay. Oh, that's the uh, the the priest that we we teased last time. Um, acknowledge him as mine. That's fine, I guess. Herrick. Probably uh, Marjorie will not be happy with that. Ah, she doesn't mind too much. <laughs> I mean, Marjorie is pretty open-minded, actually, right? That's in the in the show as well. He she doesn't really care about uh, Loras' homosexuality and uh, stuff like that. There we go, you usurped the, the title High Lordship of Dragonstone from Lady Shireen of Dragonstone. Wow, that, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I guess Lord Paramount is, uh, 
my son now holds uh, Shireen's uh, title. I kind of wanted uh, Shireen to keep that. But on the other hand, you know, I don't care so much. <laughs> she will become, uh, she is queen of the Iron Islands anyway, right? She is powerful enough. Are you fighting uh, any wars? Because I see something is... Uh, I don't ship of season now. I see you are, something is being captured here. Oh well. Fine. Can imprison a bunch of people. No, we're not gonna take we're not gonna take the Novoshi. Uh just still on Dorne. We can uh, Lady Ariane of Dorne. Now she's not uh, not the uh, the ruler of Dorne, I guess. Lord Paramount Theon we can imprison. We can imprison uh, Lord Paramount Brendan Blackfish. We're not gonna do that of course. We love him. Lord Paramount Mace, we can imprison pre pretty much every everyone. Adventurer threats. Aegon of Essos. Oh, okay. Is he go coming for round two? Because he was already there. Uh, if you guys remember, I think in ep the episode two recap, I talked about that. He was here uh, during the War of the Five Kings early phases. But now I guess uh, he's trying again. Hiring men for an attack against me. Okay, interesting. Could try to kill him, I guess. Try to kidnap him. Not try to kill him. Renly is not an idiot, right? You're on. <laughs> okay. You're on must to join us. <laughs> then you know that you're on the right side of history, right? Okay, let's not invite too many people. So I still want to uh, pay Mace back. Uh, your Grace, many of the faithful. Uh, Lady Free Stokewit of Stokewit has amassed more power and titles than she needs. Okay, I think that's true. Because she has the High Lordship of Stokewit. She has the High Lordship of Rosby. Down there, and then she has. Uh, oh, okay, I guess it's not uh, not too bad. Uh, but uh, sure, the insolence. Okay, she doesn't want to uh, release her titles. Oh, I'm not the father. Queen Marjorie is also cheated on me. I mean, I cannot blame her really. I mean, I'm I'm homosexual. I cheated on her. I think this marriage is, you know, pretty open. You know, we cheated on her as well. So, whatever. Uh, winter is coming. Okay, okay, all right. Mace is still fighting the White Walkers, right? Okay, White Walkers seem to be winning again. <laughs> it's a long war up, up north there. Eh? It's been going on for quite a few years. I'm not gonna hold the tourney. I'm gonna pay back Mace. That's, that's what's gonna happen. Mace the Ace. We love him. No one to keep him hanging, right? Uh, give him personal loan. Sixth of Moon, eighty-three oh nine. Okay. When is the adventurer coming? 9th of moon. 9th of moon. <laughs> 18th, 9th moon. 18th, 9th moon. 18th September. So I think, don't think we will be able to kill him. I think we will have to fight him. I don't know if he has, uh, he has amassed uh, some, uh, some some adventurers yet. It's pretty pretty cool that he's coming back. I think the last time he tried was like uh, 7 years ago or something. Luthor, we have a new son. Luthor Waters. Okay, it's not my son, I guess. No, <laughs> Stefan of Le Good Keep. It's my rival. Okay. Um, seduce Stefan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why not, eh? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Luthor. I cannot believe this betrayal. Woe is me. Society may take a dim view of my preferences, but at the risk of scandal, I'm about to seduce Lord Stefan. With pride, yes. <laughs> Gonna have a threesome with our wife. It's, uh, it's not gay if you have a three-way, right? I finally jammed into the, my loom. The weave completely ruined. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> it's not like we have anything important to worry about, right? Like uh, Aegon, uh, Fagon coming back. What is happening up north? Everything's still going fine? It seems the north has stabilized a bit. Still some raiders, but... Uh, not that many. Can we forbid raiding? Because I, I think I seem, it seems like they're still raiding. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just a little leftover from uh, before the war. I don't recognize my friends or Alice anymore. The things we had in common when we met, first met and became friends have changed and vanished. Uh, no, you're my friend and that won't ever change. No, 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 I like him. I like him just fine. So Alice, I haven't talked to him much, that's true. Uh, Lyanna, my daughter. What is it, Lyanna? What can I do for you? How is my uh, my son coming along? Okay, he has no 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 traits yet. He's being raised by Stefan. Why by Stefan? Why is why is why is it, why is it continuously changing uh, 
changing the uh, the guardians. No, no, I don't want that. Maybe we should just pick someone who is at, at our court. Maybe then it will not. Uh, let's find someone actually. We we're also trying to check where ice is, but I have no idea where where that is. Let's see the best fighters in the world. Brendan Tully. We have this guy Oliver. Sir Olimar, a Richman. He's great, man. Yeah, let's come over here, you, you sexy beast. <laughs> we want to, you to raise our, our boy. Uh, this guy wants to join. Nope. Is, is he? Um, let, let's check out if he is. If he has a. He doesn't have a wiki link, so I guess he's just a, a random genius guy. <laughs> Robert, I have a new guardian for you. Uh, Olimar, yes. I don't really mind if you're a Richman or whatever. Yep, great. All right, we can have you. Uh, I guess also raise uh, my bastard boy, Liana. We have raised by uh, by Marjorie. That seems like a good idea, Marjorie Tyrell. Invite to plot, replace Regent uh, Queen Marjorie and become Regent. Well, I all know. <laughs> no, I want, I want Marjorie to be Regent. Why? Why are you my friend? You refuse to uh, to revoke your uh, your duchy there. This guy's been taken to Duskendale, all right. When is the adventurer coming? 8309, okay. I hope we can pay off Mace. Uh, my Lord Paramount Robert Aaron has requested that Lord Peter Bailey should be sworn to him rather than me directly. No, no, no. Now, uh, Robert, uh, we're going to keep uh, Littlefinger. We want him to remain in our council. So uh, if we put him under uh, Robert de Ville, then we cannot, uh, cannot do that. I think it's fine to have a couple of years of uh, peaceful reign. Because, uh, you know, we've been at war for the first six years or so of our reign. And this is the next uh, six-ish six -ish years. Still a truce with the commander of the Shadow Tower. I don't know why. Oh, Warp Seagard Independence, right, right. Oh, I guess he joined that. Wow. <laughs> you broke your oath, huh? Oathbreaker. Invasion of Cresters Keep. <laughs> okay. I think they, they defeated the White Walkers, right? Did they? Wow, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I built that up all the way uh, <laughs> in the uh, in the recap uh, episode ago. Tion Greyjoy wants to marry Volda Frey. Victarion Greyjoy. That's, is that the Victarion? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is the formidable fighter. It's the brother of uh, Theon Greyjoy. No, no, is it the brother or the uncle, I think, of Theon Greyjoy? Yeah, yeah. He is in the books, he's not in the show. He's kind of a stupid uh, guy, but he's a fantastic fighter. Uh, you can marry Walda Frey, that's fine, I guess. I don't care. I don't care what you do with the phrase. How's Maze doing? We haven't heard a lot from you, Maze. Well, oh, Willis Tyrell died. Oh, that's sad. He's like, he's not in the book. He's mentioned in the books, but I don't think he is ever uh, seen in the books. But he is the heir to uh, to the reach, and he's pretty he's, he's crippled, but he's also like a pretty clever guy, very knowledgeable. Uh, when is that loan uh, given thing coming? Sixth of Moon. Okay, I think we will try to pay you back, Mace, if we can. Uh, Triarch Malacco of Valentis has accepted Queen Daenerys' Stormborn's peace offer. Okay, that was a long war, I think. Uh, you cannot see it anywhere, I guess. But did she conquer Volantis? Oh my god. Mirrenese Mirish War of him is patient, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna pay for this guy. What was the peace offer? Just Emancipation? Or did she conquer it? Mirrenese uh, Volantine War of Emancipation. Okay, okay. One by... Okay, so see, she... Uh, Volantis is no longer a slave state. That's great. Wife Marjorie is pregnant? Great. Great, great, great. We both have a little bastard boy. <laughs> Hopefully, this will uh, this will be a natural uh, son or daughter. Lord Dennis of Hornwood died. That is the last of the Flints. In suspicious circumstances. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we didn't really protect our uh, our loyalists very well. Oh well. Benjen is now married to Arya Stark. She's he's back. <laughs> That's pretty great, actually. <laughs> and uh, what about Rickon? Is he uh, still around? Is he still taught by uh, by Brendan Tully? Yeah, great. Not doing very well, but uh, you know, doesn't matter so much. We might uh, 
he might gain the north at some point. What about Winterfell? Is that owned by uh, Varys still? Yeah. Why is he not revoking that? Uh, Theon Greyjoy is occupied by rightful seat, says Maren Volmark. I'm not going to give you 125 gold. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't like you enough for that. Okay, Mr. Ace, Mr. Mace the Ace, you, uh, you're probably going to... Uh, 25th, okay. You're probably going to ask me for, for your money back, right? Maybe not. Okay, let's wait. It. Oh, reaving. Theon Greyjoy is organizing a great reaving. Okay. Far to the east in Slaver's Bay. Where is he going exactly? Is he going to uh, to attack Queen Daenerys? All right, interesting. Let them go. We're gonna follow uh, Theon. Wonder what he what he, what he will do. Reaving. Where's he going? Okay, she, uh, in Pike. Theon of the Iron Islands decided to exile. Okay, I, I wonder what will happen. He will go to Slaver's Bay, so he might, he might, he might catch it. The Nerys. That would actually be a great twist. That would be a fantastic twist. My dear, you do not need new clothes. You're already wonderful. Can we attack the wall beyond the wall? Claim the ice rivers. No, I guess not. We apparently have a, a wildling in our court somewhere. Jor is still alive, huh? Man. Been, uh, he's been the Lord Commander for a long time. Uh, okay, if we're not gonna have to pay back, okay, let no. Okay, actually, let's wait for the the adventurer to come. Is he not coming? What is happening with these adventurers, man? Is or is he dead? No, he's still here. Hmm. I guess he didn't want to, uh, to didn't want to attack me after all. I think something is is bugging out with these adventurers. I don't know, I don't know exactly what. But anyway. Uh, apparently, Mace uh, doesn't want his money back. So, <laughs> I guess we're gonna, in that case, hold a big tourney, right? Yep. Hold a tourney of, of, for King's Landing. Yep. A grand tourney for all the realm. 8 to 309. Leverly on food. Yep. We will spend whatever. Uh, whatever is necessary. Oh, Archibald Ironwood. Oh shit, I should have watched that. Archibald the big man Ironwood. Yeah, he can be the new King's Guard. That's fine. I uh, was hoping uh, I, I, I pressed that too quickly. Oh no! Oh, he is attacking me. Okay, Aegon. Hmm. Aegon, my man. That's not smart of you. They will surely honor their obligations. Yes, please do. You can call in allies, Lord Paramount, Mister Reese. Yes. Everybody, please join me over here in uh, King's Landing. We will fight this usurper. Let's hope it will be as easy as last time. The second war against Aegon. Loras can be my leader, yeah. Should we lead ourselves? Um, yeah. Yeah, we're protecting our homeland, right? Let's uh, let's let's command the army ourselves. Is uh, or is Aegon a terrible, a great commander? And <laughs> then it's super dangerous. Ah, seventy. Okay, I, I think that's worth it. Worth it to try. Uh, we all have. Uh, where's uh, where's our boy? Oh, is he not? Uh, he's not around anymore. Our boy, uh, the siege leader. Oh well, Uthor or something, right? Let's let's look him up. No, I guess he's not around anymore. I guess he died. Okay, that's sad. Uh, okay, great. Lord Paramount Robert is joining me, of course. As a small war, they will delay this. Yep. <laughs> uh, Mace is joining me. Oh, we can unfortunately not join your wars at this time. I think he's already joined me. Yep, everybody joining me. Even the Iron Islands are joining me. I think uh, Renly has stabilized his rule pretty well. The walls under assault and the Night Watch is hard, hard pressed to defend it. What a time you chose, uh, Mace the Ace. Or Mance, Mance the Pants, I don't know. <laughs> yep, we're gonna help you, of course. Mance's invasion of the Night's Watch. Uh, I'm grateful for your loyalty. Okay, uh, uh, Theon is actually helping me out even more. Wow. Okay, I guess because he's married to my niece. Very nice, thank you. Yes, we can repay Mace. Okay, great. Long shall be repaid in full. It's good that uh, that the 20 was cancelled then. Uh, Yarion was born. Oh, that's my new son, Yarion. Okay, how, how shall we call him? We call him Stannis. We call him Oris. Oris Baratheon or Stefan. Stefan is a pretty uh, Baratheon -y name, right? Let's do that. Stefan. 
Stefan Baratheon. Alright, so we have an, uh, an ambition to have five children, so we are pretty close to that, actually. Great that we have we have finally have an heir and a spare. That's good. The, uh, the, the Baratheon line, the Renly line, hang, uh, hung by a thread for a while there. Shireen, you should also get kids, uh, my lady. Oh, you're pregnant. Difficult pregnancy. Okay. Uh, this guy, I don't care. Proof that, that this guy has been slandering me. Um, yeah, then we'll arrest him, arrest him, right? If you're slandering me. Locked away. Execute. Call for trial. Trial by combat. Okay. Random guy. Trial by combat. Hmm. Uh, you have that right. Uh, Sir Olimar. Or this guy, Balon Swan. Balon Swan, we can, uh, we can let him face that. I'll stand for you, Your Grace. Defeated at the hands of Sir Balon. Okay, too bad. Guilty by the gods, Ex execute him. We had him. <laughs> Just a distraction, right? Shouldn't be slandering me, man. Where's... Oh, here, here's Aegon. Here's, here's you go. Here he comes. I like, I like this army. 18k, okay, so we should be able to handle that. He's the new hand of the king. Olimar, yeah, he's a good choice. Oh, he's a master at arms, yeah, let's make him master at arms, that's fine. Hand of the king, Gilbert of Faring Cross. Should we make, uh, should we make Olimar our master, uh, our, our hand of the king? He's great. Yeah, reassign counselor. Hand of the king, yes. Lord Starell, you can lead this army. I will be in the flank. And we will have, um... This guy maybe Leo Meadows, lead the uh, the other uh, the other flank. Three thousand troops, come on, man! <laughs> Is that all you have? And bam, <laughs> three thousand losses. Where is the guy? Where, where is uh, where is Aegon? Old Valentis. Okay, what are you doing there, my man? You're not uh, you're not coming to uh, to attack me over here in King's Landing. Uh, Lady Marjorie, I can uh, give her a reward, sure, here you go. You've been helping me out uh, quite a lot, actually. Marjorie has been in my uh, in my council for a long time. My loyal servant. <laughs> That's a bit harsh to, to say about your wife. How long have you been ruling the Iron Throne, actually? 8301, okay. So nearly a decade. How long did Robert last? About... 15-ish years. We should be, uh, we should last longer than that. 44,000 troops, okay. <laughs> 60,000. <000. laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> here he comes, Aegon. Bring it on, man. We have 90,000 troops raised. 44 gold. Thank you. Here he comes. Boom, dead. <laughs> He's doing even worse than last time. It's a bit of a bit anticlimactic, this. Uh, okay, Doran is joining me. A bit late, uh, but fine. And I guess the North is already handling... Uh, yeah, the bunch of Lord Lords in the North are already fighting uh, Man's Raider. So he should, he should lose soon enough. Aline Hightower, my mother-in-law, died a natural death. Alright. Mace the Ace, 54-year-old. Advancement, advancements in medicine benefit us all. Yes, they certainly do. Let's keep stay here in King's Landing with this army for a while. Maybe, uh, ah, Mance's invasion has uh, has been uh, defeated again. Ah, here he comes again. Oh, are you coming to King's Landing directly, my man? Cannot have that. Another 3,000 troops. Where are you going? Where are you going, my man? Lucas Chittering. Make a marriage, please. Yep, yep. Lord Commander Jor won. And we uh, we once again won against uh, King Aegon. I say we, but last time, of course, uh, Joffrey beat him, not us. This time we beat him. Force demands, yes. Loses his claim on the Iron Throne. Yeah. Okay, my man. Who, uh, who have you married? Oh, some random, uh, some random woman. We also have a kid. Do we imprison? Uh, are we imprisoning her? No. Okay, but they won't. Uh, she won't inherit these claims anyway. So that's good. Okay. Um, should we call him to trial? Can we do that? 
Okay, it's uh, immune to hostile actions. Okay, so he will, will get it himself. Complaining about the dark cells in his dungeon. Uh, no, no, you can stay in the dungeon. The war has been subsided again. Okay, we will hold a tourney later. Uh, we will reappoint the old council, yes. Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, you can train children. Doran can oversee the realm. Yeah, that's, uh, that sounds about right. Is, uh, are you still... Uh, I recall, yeah, great. Okay, he would turn out pretty terribly. <laughs> uh, Garios, no, you can stay uh, stay in the dungeon, my man. I, I guess I captured a lot of uh, Soci Valerians. Uh, your prisoner has requested an audience with you. He's offering to pay the ransom for his release. Personally, no. <laughs> Ten gold. Screw you. Can we um, visit chambers? <laughs> can we call him for trial? Why not? Why can we not call him for trial? And then we will execute him, I guess. Or banish him. Uh, this guy has been captured. Okay. Let's, let, let's, let's execute him, right? Yeah. Let's behead him. Can we do anything else now? Let's behead him. Aegon of Essos was finally killed. It's the last time we will see that pretender again. We will release his wife. She had nothing to do with it, right? Do you have any, uh, anyone else in prison? Garios and Ribeiro. Uh, we can uh, we can banish them to the Night's Watch, actually. Let's banish them both. Two Valerians at the Night's Watch. Lord Edison Edgerton has been captured by Lady Fleece Stokeworth. All right. Okay. Okay, so I think with the invasion of uh, of Aegon and the successful re uh, repelling of that invasion by uh, by King Redley, uh, who is somewhat uh, getting uh, up to middle age now, I think we can end it there. Thank you guys again for watching, uh, and see you next episode. Bye-bye.